Hey Leo, it's Teresa with One Love, One Light. Welcome to your message. Let's see what Spirit has for you. Holy Spirit, what do you have for Leo? What's the message for Leo? Okay, and we have, you can make it through. Your higher self is always guiding you. What wisdom does your higher self have for you? Number 15. So there's something that, there's some type of situation, your current situation, um, where you are wondering if you're going to make it through. There's um, something on the board where you're just, you can't see how to get out of a situation or to, this could be coming up with money. This could be, you know, like how to get to a certain place, um, how to fix something. But let's see what the book has to say. Number 15. You may feel lost, alone, and as, and as if things are not as they should be. But you have a guide who is always with you, gently whispering words of kindness, wisdom, and comfort. Say hello to your higher self, also known as your true and authentic self. Lean inward into your heart and connect to this pure, pure part of you. You can connect with your higher self in many ways. For example, through signs, synchronicities, and the flow of life. You may notice intuitive nudges or gut feelings. Your higher self is always talking to you and wants you to know you can make it through anything. Furthermore, you can trust this inspiration. You are never given more than you can handle. And when you tune into this guidance, life will become easier. Yeah, because I feel like once you are actually tuned into it and looking for this voice or this um, feeling to come through, then it's much more clear the advice and the comfort that you're being given. So let's see what else. What else? What else do we have for Leo? And we have Scorpio. This energy is intense, masterful, thoughtful, and magnetically charming, but also secretive and possessive. So you may be dealing with the Scorpio. You may have Scorpio in your chart. Um, let's see what Scorpio has to say in the book how, and how this is affecting you right now. This is one of the most powerful zodiac signs in astrology, but also the most secretive. The energy is charismatic, mysterious, and bewitching. For at the heart of it is a need to bring about great transformation. And Scorpio uses beguiling and magnetic charm to achieve this. One can feel caught like helpless prey in a spider's web when this energy is involved in the matter at hand. But who doesn't want to be lured into exotic and mystical excitement? This energy is known for its life-giving sexual expression, but it is also involved with life-changing healing and transformation. In fact, it is likely that the two are linked because the potential generation of life in human bonding can be channeled into miraculous cures. The serpent winding up a staff has been a symbol of magic and healing from biblical times to the present day. If you need healing and you have drawn this card, you have great spiritual support for this force generates love and intense power. Scorpio has great ability to penetrate deeply and bring the truth to the surface. It is relentless in pursuit of honesty and it will help to bring matters to a head and lay things bare. However, it can also reveal envy or possessiveness and subterfuge. It may be that you can't grasp the motives of others at this time. For Scorpio, mask the obvious, but you may also be feeling a strange and entrancing anticipation or expectant ten tension in the air, as if you are waiting for something to happen. You have great power at your disposal now, and you can do almost anything with it, but with great power comes great responsibility, so use it wisely. 
Enjoy the intensity of your deep feelings for you are truly in touch with the life force of the universe. So what I feel like the Scorpio energy is really telling you that you have this like extra power right now to overcome things, to get through um, situations. This could be even um, being able to dig even deeper to come up with solutions for whatever you're trying to get through right now. All right, what else do we have? And we have, you are here for a reason. So whatever it is you're going through, there is a purpose for, for it. And if you can really kind of step back and look at it from a higher perspective, from the side, whatever perspective that isn't dead in the middle of it, you might be able to find that reason and that make it much more easy to overcome, right? Um, and it could be anything, um, depending on what your situation is. There is these mountains in the background that really, you know, show that there is a challenge there, but it's not insurmountable. It's not, um, the mountains are not so high that you could not possibly pass them. So this is also about looking back on other challenges that you've gotten through that have been either just as hard or harder and how did you get through those? And maybe it's not the same tactic, but it's the same kind of motivation that you're going to need to pump yourself up and, and face that challenge and be brave, you know? All right, let's see what else we have. And we have the magician awareness. So yeah, it's like this Scorpio energy is giving you the awareness of your own creative power of knowing that you have everything you need to create and ha create the magic and the uh, solution to whatever it is that you're going through here. What else? And we have the Ace of Wands, Passion Ignited. I feel like there is something also that's really inspiring you to take action, to, um, to move. Um, so it's not about uh, waiting to see what happens. There's definitely um, some type of action you're being inspired to take. And this could be something brand new, some new opportunity here. Um, Yeah, what's the challenge here? And we have the Eight of Cups, emotional withdrawal. So um, I think the challenge is having to leave something behind. Um, this is your challenge. This is, uh, I mean, this could be having to leave something behind in order to gain something better and this may be very difficult for you because you've made emotional connections but if they are um you know true connections you won't lose them by leaving for something that is you know inspiring you or is going to help you in this situation if that makes sense what is the advice here and we have the empress fertility so yeah, it's definitely asking you to go towards where you're going to have growth, where you're going to have support, where you're going to be abundant, um, fertile, and um, grow into the empress, where you're going to be um, the best version of yourself, where you're going to find your beauty, you're going to find your purpose, you know, it's like um, really coming into um, the best version of yourself, like I said. So what else do we have? What's the outcome here? And we have the crown chakra. So like full expansion, um, you know, this enlightenment, this activation, this connection to the divine. It's like, that's what's, that's what's at stake here. That's what I'm getting. So I feel like this is about your spiritual journey, your personal spiritual journey. It's not just um, about, it's not just a career or just a relationship or just, you know, uh, 
changing locations or something like that. It's really your spiritual journey, your purpose here. The bottom of the deck is the star card. So yeah, you're definitely being guided. You are being guided towards something that is your destiny here. It's going to put you in the spotlight. It's going to um, make your wishes come true. It's going to um, restore your faith, bring healing. It's like all of the above. You are definitely being guided um, towards wish fulfillment, towards um, aligning with the universe here. All right, let's clarify. Let's get some more details here. Show me this magician. And we have the Eight of Cups again. So we have it twice here. So it's definitely this like having that come out under the magician. It's like you're really coming into the awareness of what you are being asked to do or what you're being guided to do. And it is a very difficult decision to make. Show me this Ace of Wands. And we have the Eight of Pentacles, dedicated effort. So, yeah, I feel like you may be given a new opportunity in work, in career. And I feel like this is something that um, is something you could have only wished for. It's something that brings you passion, something that really um, is a very inspiring opportunity for you that you just can't pass up. Show me this Eight of Cups. And we have the Five of Cups. So, yeah, I feel like, I feel like, um, you know, it's like, it only makes it more challenging when you think of this as a loss. But it's like those relationships and those situations that you are going to be away from, um, if they're, if they're solid enough, you won't lose them just by being away from them, if that makes sense. So you have to be very clear on what's best for you in your journey. That's what I'm getting here. Show me this Empress. And we have the Devil here. So I feel like there is things, you know, that can cause doubt. Um, there is things that can... Um, creep up and make you feel like you're not worthy of receiving this opportunity or worthy of, um, of go being abundant and um, living a life of luxury and um, growing. There is, there is things, toxic things that want to hold you back. That's what I'm getting. But um, that's just that devil energy trying to um, hold you back from a wonderful opportunity here. Show me this crown chakra. And we have the three of pentacles. Reach out. So these are steps that are, you know, carrying you higher. This is also about understand your co-creation with the divine. I feel like you will, you're going towards something where you're really going to shine, you're really going to stand out from the crowd, you're going to be supported, you're, you're going to feel acknowledged. That's what I'm getting here. The bottom of the deck is the Justice card, and it says detach, and I feel like it's kind of that thing, like if you let it go and it comes back to you, then it was meant to be, otherwise, you know, I forget what the saying is. You know what I'm talking about. But otherwise, justice is like where things are. The universe is balancing things out. Um, you're, you've overcome karma and you're going to get the rewards, the good karma that you also deserve. All right. Let's see if there's any other messages. That one wanted to come out. Any other messages for Leo? And this, you're here for a reason. Is It's difficult when you're going through like tough times to try to figure out why. But if you can, it's one of the most effective ways to 
get through things. If you really try to look at it from a spiritual perspective, what possibly could I be meant to learn in this situation? If you're able to quiet your mind and get that insight, then it makes it so much easier to get through it victoriously. Um, but it's, it's very difficult to actually do that when you're surrounded by the actual situation itself. So you've got a lot of messages coming out here. Well, that one wants to go to the floor. I'm trying to, I just try not to get them to go to the floor. Okay. See if there's any from this other stack. Here, let's see what we have. Little clues that may stir your intuition to help you. Okay, we have firecracker, excitement, and it's coming out right there on that ace of wands, that inspiring, something inspiring. Eagle, triumph over troubles, obstacles. Yes, you're, you can make it through. Broom, new home, new attitude, okay. Flute, disappointment in a friend or lover. Wishbone, a wish is granted. Uh, boat, money or property through an inheritance, winning or windfall. Cracked cup, dissatisfaction with life. Spear, heartache over what you no longer have. Bag, something important, such as a new job or a raise. Wall, a misunderstanding. Claw, be careful, do not take risks. Teapot, deep friendship with someone of the same sex. Crib, birth or conception of a child or enterprise. Rainbow, the most difficult part of a situation is over. Gavel, involvement with the law. Door, opportunities are waiting for you. Flowers, happiness. Cane, pay attention to your health. And bear, danger, especially in money matters. And I really got that when, you know, it said you can make it through. I, my first thought was money issues. So I feel like there are indications that you're going to get through this. There may be a windfall of money and, and um, possibly a new job and possibly um, new opportunities. So I feel like there are um, various opportunities that can come into your sphere and it's like um, just keep your head up and your eyes open for these opportunities so um, and aware of any kind of of other situations that are trying to cause doubt or discord amongst that so those are the messages that came through for you. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Please, please, please subscribe. And remember, the universe has your back, and so do I. Take care.